So hi everybody and welcome back. This is a C++ tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 27 and in this video we make a, uh, an exercise. Very important, very important and why it's so important because understanding just the keywords um, it's easy but to use them in context in a program it's more important just than understanding it because when you write a program, when you make exercises, then you understand not only the keywords, then you understand how to use the keywords. And this uh, is very important that, no, that you understand how to use them, not just to understand them, that you know where to use them, how to call them, and what are their variations and differences. And this one, things we want to train here with a little program again. Here on the screen, I have write the keywords which you should know till now. We have not many keywords. Look, we have only false and float for if, int and true. These are the real keywords. Let me show you this here in our keyword list. So I have here other one. This well, so we have here false, float, for, if, int, true and this operator not careful. This is our operator keyword. This we don't have char also not. But you see, we have here only six keywords actually, but very important, we know more. Not only six keywords, we know of course a little bit more. Let me show you the list here below. We know that there is a int main, which is our start point. We know there are libraries which are here on top and needed for includes we know we need our of course variables variables are the most important part probably of uh, programming and then we have here we know also how to output on screen right with stdc out very important then we know the operators not the operator keyword very important here these are operators we have here comparison operator assignment operator Okay, I forgot. We have, of course, the arithmetic operator as well. We know them probably too, right? So we know even a little bit more operators. So we know these operators. Then we learned an array. Uh, interesting is this array is sometimes in Visual Studio. Uh, it's like a it's like a keyword, but in standard C++, it's not a keyword. That's very important, but it's very important in general an array that we learned. Then we learned this strange get char, which is just here our pause menu, uh, uh, our pause uh, command that the screen it's not gone when we write a program. Then we learned so far. Uh, we heard about this one return. We, you should just know that this return is sometimes in int main. Then we learned also this std means standard library. You should not use uh, the word using. Instead, we should all time write std if and uh, with colon colon. And we learned non primitive types. For example, here on top, this uh, int, the float. For example, they are primitive types and we have here a non-primitive type and a non-primitive type. We learned that we uh, need this um, this in front, this std, the standard library, then this colon colon. And very important, if it's not a, a primitive uh, type, then we have also include the, the library for this one. So. That's, you see, understanding them when I say them are very easy, but how we are using that in a program now? And that is very important that we train this. First of all, we will again write a program definition. So our plan, a simple plan, it can be wrong. We have to adjust this anyway. And the second thing, which is very important, you must be creative. You can make a very easy program, complex program, a wrong program or any program. But the important thing is that after you finished your program, you solved all the errors and it works. Doesn't matter if it's a good program or bad program. 
important is you solve all the errors and you achieved your goal. So let's get started. In this Excel, in this video, we start now using all that what we have here and trying to use them anyhow, right? Because we want to train them. And I have already prepared a very simple plan. Very simple means I have just wrote here some things which we can use. Uh, so, and not have to use. And it starts with, let me get this. Uh, so, it starts with the, uh, our program, which we are going to write, and very important also as an Excel file. We won't have at the end an uh, Excel file where we want to put this out. So, we start with I want. I just said it randomly, not thinking too much. I want to compare two player scores, okay? And write it in my best list. So the two skills in my best list, if they are top 10. So I have a best list, uh, for example, with 10 entries, a database, and I want to compare these two player scores. And if they are good, I want just write them in this list. Uh, but how I'm going to do this? Then next one, I want that they enter their names. Okay, they should enter their names. Then I want that they enter their scores. Okay, so I know their names and their scores. Good. Then I want to compare their scores with my database best list. So I need compare now them. Okay, we learned this to this compare, uh, probably with a if, right? <laughs> And uh, this uh, database we learned with an array. So it's also nice. We know this. Cool. And then I need a database list. Yes, I have to write a database list. Uh, this database list probably we have to write manually. But if you want, you can make this even with a for loop. A little bit more different. Not very. Yeah, it's possible. Definitely. Then we can go here. I want to write them in my top 10 if they are good enough. So here I have to compare these two players with my database list. And then I have changed my database list. Depends on their scores if they were good enough. And then I want to print out top 10 best list. So uh, which means at the end I want to print out the top 10, uh, which means if they are included in this list, they will be printed out as well in top 10. So this is our little program exercise, which we are going to create. And I think I'm not doing that now, because if I'm doing that now, you will not, uh, yeah, you will not try to learn this. And uh, let me, I will stop soon and you try this exercise first and in the next video i will solve all the steps here but very important is here to know try to use all that what you learned very important try to use from scratch all what you learned here that's the real uh, new thing here to train that how to use that because just with understanding Yes, this uh, keywords understanding, it's very easy. And to understanding what a variable is and what libraries is, it's very easy. But it is not easy to use them now in a program. Or here, one more thing, you can even write your own program if you want. Not You have not to use this one. This is what I wrote here. I just throw it in in one a uh, few minutes ago or three minutes ago before I started this video. And of course you can write here your own program and be creative. You use your ideas. That's very important. That's very, very important. Use your own ideas. Yes. To uh, realize this program or create your own program. But very important is that you use all these things what we learned so far. That is the important part on this exercise because we want use them yes we want to train them and see how they are working in a program or 
if they are working, for example, we have sometimes problems. Uh, we don't know where to use them. For example, where I'm going to use this array or where I'm going to use this if statement to just compare this best list is probably a compare. Array is probably to create this database. And then how I print out this database is probably a for loop and so on. Be very creative, right? And yeah, I think I stop here because if I do now the, <laughs> the exercise, you will probably just so just follow this one. And the real thing here is that you just learn how to use all these kinds on your own, on with your mind, with your creativity, and so on. So that's very important in programming as well to create simulations of the world because later when we write programs we are simulating the world and world means we are simulating all things of kinds and you have just to be very creative and there is not one way solution there are many way solutions and the best way to start is just start with your own mind that's the point to learn here in this exercise so I stop here. I talk too much. And in the next video, this one, I will make one solution, not the best solution probably. And I hope you made your own solution, which is perhaps better than mine. And yeah, see you in the next. Bye.